You're not supposed to be here. <sighs> it's just a statue. Solid stone. Someone's idea of a joke. Frank, is, is that one of yours, Tyler? 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Two months, Tommy. Two months is all it took for you to turn us into fugitives. I don't believe it. It was a golden cookie. I didn't know it was nice. Oh, it was nice. Well, desecration of a national monument. Three points. Don't start this again. You're sentenced to race, Tommy. You start this civil war. Wait, come on. The silence is over there. Let's get out of here. is impenetrable. Well, almost. See? Nothing to worry about. So, where are we fancying next? Actually, um, kind of hoping we can go home for a bit. You know, I've not seen my granddad in a little while and my mum. Yeah, actually, haven't seen my mum in a while either, and since you can't time travel, we've probably been gone a while. Uh, okay, dokey, home it is. Sweet home. Megan, have you not told him yet? About us? Not yet, but I will. Hey, I will tell him. It's a little awkward, you know, with me and past him. You know my boyfriend? Considering the TARDIS has limited time trips right now, I'm doing a hell of a good job nailing the destination. You guys alright? Of course! Really? It feels like we never really left. Go, you've got your families to see. What are you gonna do? Oh, just gonna have some alone time. Might pop and see the brig. It's been a while after all. Go and show my face. Anyway, you guys have a great time out there. Ciao! See ya. Yeah, see ya. Constellation of Exodus, the nearest rift. Now, hopefully this will resolve those limited time trips for you. PC Lauren Miller. No sign of the girl in question. The place seems pretty locked up.
come back to the station, Lauren. There's not much we can do without a warrant. Sure thing. Just doesn't add up. I'll give the letterbox another go. Lucy, sweetheart, are you there? I just need you to reply to me. Yeah, someone didn't seem quite right. I don't think a warrant can wait. Lauren, do not go into the property. Oh my god. Lucy, is that you? It's a mannequin. PC Laura Miller, I've got a 10 0. I need urgent assistance and I require experts on this too. Lauren, please tell me you didn't enter the property. I haven't got time for this. I need officers here now. We're sending a dispatch now. your tricks is this? I'm not here for any wrongdoing. You are all in grave danger. A crisis is imminent. One that threatens all of time. When the moment comes, Doctor, you will seek my help. I will seek nothing from you, Trickster. I know your games, your level of manipulation. Get out of my TARDIS. As you wish. But I have seen the outcome of these events. The fate of all time rests in your hands, Time Lord. Let's just get back to Tommy and Megan. And, uh, shields up. My girl, I've missed you. I've missed you too. Anyway, cup of tea? Yeah, I'll make it. Well, I don't know where the doctor took you, but you're a different person.
change your clothes. Yeah. We're going to feel fresh. Nice coming home present. A big bag of washing. All of time and space and you couldn't even find a washing machine. Anyway, I've got something really exciting to show you. I've discovered the Wi-Fi. Oh. Megan Williams, we have been given orders from the Brigadier himself. You're required urgently. Megan, is everything okay? Yeah, fine. They're just work friends. Well, I hope they're going to replace that door. Two squads and a broken door. What a waste of resources. Bring up this time. It's a weird one. All right, guys, clear the space. Units here. Twenty years old, university student. She's been missing for over a week. Doctor, you should really see this. There are no traces of alien tech of any sort. Doctor, she's plastic. to create a live cast of herself and make a plastic replica. Well, it's more likely than being turned into plastic. True, but she was in months of debt, struggling to keep on top of her uni work. She didn't have the time or funds to do this, let alone the skill. What do you mean, skill? It's a one-to-one -one identical replica. The fingerprints match too, and I spoke to a prosthetics expert earlier. He said there's no way you could replicate that. Her entire DNA structure has been completely rewritten. The original human DNA is still there, but it's plastic. So if someone turned her into plastic, who would do that? Lauren, what was there? I'm not sure. You reckon she was starting an art project? Wrong. She wasn't starting it. She finished it. What? The paint brushes have been recently used. Fresh paint residue can be seen on the brushes. The dried filler is freshly dried at least a week old. The dust from the sandy discs is lingering into the air and compressed into the carpet. Lucy Grace Pendleton was murdered. Her body was pumped full of liquid plastic which reshaped her entire body's DNA. Cause of death, DNA totally rewritten. Doctor, what, what could have done that? There's only one race I know that specializes in plastic, specifically living plastic. And this is new, even for them. Who are they? The nesting consciousness. <laughs> Mom, are you okay? I need to see the doctor. We've called him. We'll meet him at the drop point.
Why are you following me? I am here to prevent what's to come. What do you mean? Time is deteriorating. Chaos is on the verge of rising. And you, Tommy Benton, you and your friends cause it. What? That's not right. That <laughs> Already fully fueled. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with you, old girl. This is part of something bigger. I've been out with a few friends. You've been gone for a few weeks. I've been very worried. <sighs> Mum, I've been travelling with the doctor. The doctor. The one that Grandad used to tell us about. All those stories are. Well, they're true. I've seen things. Impossible, amazing things, and uh, I can't explain, but you know that girl, Megan? She's my girlfriend. I love her, Mum. It's silly, isn't it? Are you safe, though? Because Dad always told me what it was like. Yeah, I'm safe. I've got Meg and the Doctor. That's all that matters. I hope you're going to bring this Megan around sometime. Of course. Don't get too close. A few of the guys have a weird feeling. Probably. What is it? No one knows. We ideally need the doc. It's 
some sort of crack. Well, that certainly clears it up. It's a fracture, like a rupture in time. Must have been one the clock of Detroit fell through. Time is bleeding into this world, but it's not the first time I've seen one like this. Last one I saw was at Jonathan's house. When the movement. When the movement what? Oh! This is how the movement got around! Creating fractures in time and using them as gateways! This is why the TARDIS can't time travel. She's fine, by the way. No faults on her end. No. This is why she can't travel. Oh, time is being altered all around her. Massive energy fluctuations, a huge distortion in time. Also, I keep getting these, like, flashes. Like, memories, but no. Me too. Lucy Grace? Yeah. New memories. Our paths are being altered. Where's Tommy? Please, don't shoot me. You're English? Are you stupid or something? Didn't you hear the air raid? You shouldn't be out here. The air raids? Wait, what year is this? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's June 14th, 1943. Oh man. Look, I'll take it back to the town. Just please, for your own safety, stay put when the sirens go off. Oh, I'm in the second world war. Calls her angel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's probably just getting smothered by his bum. So there's something I wanted to tell you. Do you remember that time when you dropped me and Tommy off and we went bowling and cinema and stuff? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Not much into bowling personally, but you know. Well, it wasn't that. It was a date. Ah, you finally decided to go for it then. The date. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that me and Tommy, we like together. Ah, <laughs> oh, you think I didn't notice? I've seen how you guys are around each other. What? You thought, because I'm over 10,000 years old, that I wouldn't be able to notice the signs? Come on, Megan. I've seen the way you've been smiling now. For the first time in a long time, I can tell that you're happy. I'm gonna go try Tommy again. Cool. Here, try using this to boost the signal.
No, no, no! Okay, what have you done with her? Where have you sent her? You all right there? Yeah, I was just... What year is this? It's 1973. 1973? Of course it is. Oh. Um, I've not seen you in my bed before. Oh. Just arrived? Yeah, I can tell. We, the clones are quite a bit of a giveaway. Was it the angel? Yeah, I mean, it, it got me too, long time ago. I'm, I'm Harry, by the way. Megan. This, this is the same place that I arrived. Sorry, how long have you been trapped here for? Um, just about six years. Oh, my boyfriend, who's also sent back by the angel. Well, I haven't seen anyone else. Look, you'll have to change out of those clothes. You'll draw too much attention. Wherever you have sent her, I will get her back. I don't know what business a weeping angel has being here, but I assume it has something to do with the time rupture. Of course it is. You couldn't resist, could you? All that time leaking through is one hell of a feast. Actually, it was the rupture that brought us here. Stay there. Don't turn your back on the angel. Haven't you already figured it out yet? I'm already yeah. dead. Doctor. The angel broke my neck. The angel is using your corpse to speak. I am so sorry for what she has done to you. You know of me? I know a great deal about you, Doctor. That's why I'm here. Here to stop you. What were you doing out here on your own? I'm snoring. Well, I'm actually a long way from home. Aren't we all? What's your name? Tommy. Uh, Tommy Benson. You? Peter. Peter Holmes. You must be what? 20? 21? How can you not fight him? Uh, good question. Um, I'm on a top secret mission. You? Okay. Why did you ask what the year was? Oh, uh, I just thought it'd be funny. Not seen a funny guy in a while. Suppose when there's any war, it's hard to see the light side of things. You got anyone waiting for you back home? There is somebody. If I could ever get back home. Get behind me. What on earth is that? No, no, no! Don't shoot it! It's defenseless! Defenseless? Tommy, look at it! It's, it's nothing from God's earth! Just because it's different doesn't make it a threat. That's a Nazi way of thinking. Just put your gun down. There were whispers that the Nazis were experimenting. Is that what you are? An experiment? Look, I know you're scared. I know this is all new to you. And you have the right to feel threatened. But can we just give it a chance? Can we just talk to it? Hey, you all right? Look, we're not going to hurt you despite my friend's hostile reaction over here. I'm Tommy. Uh, what are you? Where did you come from? We are the Silurians, and we are the owners of this planet. You're talking gobbledygook. This is God's earth, and we walk upon it. The earth belonged to reptilian kind long before you apes learned to walk. Then why are you here? We were attacked. Our colony were woken by the explosions. One 
caused damage to the hibernation pods. Explosions? Oh, of course. That This wasn't an attack on you. This world is at war. Again. The wretched apes continue to destroy our planet. We will end this war, and we will reclaim the Earth for the reptilian kind. You can't end this war. It's too early. Attempt to reclaim this world, and you'll be met with a force you won't win against. The Nazis don't stand a chance, and neither do you. Run, Tommy! So how did you get here then? Well, I was at work and we had this sort of power cut from the storm, so I was doing my rounds, just making sure that everything was locked up, and then, well, I, I was here. What about you? <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Ah! <sighs> Jesus, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. That's been happening a lot. The doctor said it's the past being altered. The doctor? Doctor who? I need to catch you up. That creature was defenceless! I panicked, okay? I thought it was going to attack us. Either way, those things are coming. I need to get back to base. The field marshal needs to know what those things are planning. And are you going to tell him that you just declared war with a race you cannot fight? What did you mean? This war can't end. That it's too early. Um... I... You didn't seem disturbed in the slightest by that creature. As if you've seen them before. Who are you really? A German spy? No, it... It's complicated. Well, I'm sure you can make it uncomplicated when I turn you over. Right, so time traveling phone boxes and aliens. I mean, sure, why not? Do you think I'm mad, do you? I mean, we've both been sent back to 1973 by a stone statue, so I think we're both a little bit mad. What was that? Why haven't we moved? Can I just just legged it? What, what the hell's going on? Cybermen. They're Cybermen! Stay back! Back of the bus! Move! We're trapped! There's only one way in or out of this bus! There's not even a fire exit! Something to break a window! It's 1973! We're a bit before fire safety! We're gonna die! We're not gonna die! The side men are gonna grave us before we die! Oh yeah, the rest by the way! Right, that's really not helping! What are we gonna do?! Uh, cheap shot! God, I really hope Tommy didn't get me a knock off! You know what this is? What it's made of? What it'll do to your breathing apparatus? Do not resist. 
What the hell was that? Gold. They're allergic to it. That's not what caused it. Well, that should have sorted it. <clears throat> Is everyone all right? Yeah. Good, thanks. Sorry, who are you? Who, me? <clears throat> Hello. I'm the doctor. Holmes! Where the hell have you been? Sir, we have a situation. A situation? There are creatures from beyond God's earth that are coming here. They wish to claim our world. They call themselves Silurians. <laughs> Alright, Holmes. That's quite enough of that. I'm telling you, sir, they're coming. Tell them, Tommy. I don't have time for your childish games. Where's your uniform, boy? Field Marshal Pierce, sir, we are under attack. We need to be ready. Enough. I understand this is being done for humour, but this is taking it too far. The Nazis are enough to deal with. If you persist in this talk of creatures, I shall have you dismissed. Enemy incoming. They're early. We're not ready. My goodness. What is that thing? It's done. It's the Silurians. Reinforce the perimeter. Hold position and await my order. And Holmes, find this boy some uniform. Right, most Cybermen don't seem to have caught up with us. Oh my word. Well, I like what you've done with the place. Oh. oh yes, very cosy. <clears throat> so it's you? Like, really you? You're the doctor? Well, I certainly was the last time I checked, yes. And uh, who might you be? Uh, Megan, uh, Megan Williams. And this is Harry. Look, doctor, this might sound a bit ridiculous, but we're from your future, and I need your help. Well, we need your help. My future? Forgive me, young lady, but, um, how do I know you're telling the truth? Uh, well... It... Oh, my word. I didn't know that I'd say this is some sort of... sonic probe of some sort. <laughs> do you know I'd even go so far as to say it's a sonic... Screwdriver? You wouldn't be seen without it. Yes. Well, it's only because... <clears throat> I've been working on one of my own, you see. Oh, it's not as impressive as yours, I must admit, but... It certainly gets you out of some tight scrapes, I must admit. <clears throat> oh! Back. I think that settles things. We were sent back in time by a weeping angel. You'll, you'll probably find out who they are. But there was this thing, like a crack. The doctor called it a time fracture. Oh dear. Well, in that case, we are in trouble, aren't we? Megan, <clears throat> I think you should tell me everything from the very beginning. Uniform doesn't fit, by the way. You ever used one of these before? I've had some training. So come on then. You might as well tell me. How is it complicated? I'm from the future. Right. You believe me? Tommy, look out there. We are fighting a new war against reptiles. I'll believe anything right now. But. If you are from the future, tell me, 
Do we win? No, no, I can't tell you that. All right, men. Stand ready. Why is it stopped? Hold your positions! Launch the MK2! Very good, men! May God have mercy on us all. Positions! Fire! is true, then that means terrible things are happening. The doctor needs me. My doctor. I need to get back. Do you think you could take us home in the TARDIS, please? I'm afraid I can't. You see, I, I wouldn't dare cross into my own time stream. If the time fractures are in place, then just my appearance could rip reality apart. So I'm sorry. You're experiencing the live repercussions? Yeah. Wait a minute. You know, I might not be able to take you back, but I can certainly pass on a message for you. If you tell me the message, I'll try my best to remember it, and hopefully in a thousand years' time, or so the doctor, your doctor, will pick it up. Perfect. Doctor. I'm trapped in 1973, at the height of a Cyberman invasion. Tommy has also been taken by the Weeping Angel, but he's not here. And I'm trapped. I don't know how to get back, or even if there is a way back. Okay, so now what? What is that? Are you expecting visitors? No, stay down. It's them! They're here! The Cybermen are here! What do we do? I'm afraid our future is catching up with us. I best get back to sorting out this invasion attempt. And Megan, I, I wish you all the very best in getting home. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Oh, no, 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 the, the pleasure is all mine. Well, I look forward to meeting you again in the future. Okay, do we need a plan? Not at all. You leave the side men to me. I'm going to try and lure them away back to the, to the International Electromatics. And then hopefully then Brigadier's men will be able to take care of them. Oh my goodness! Not everyone wants to stay back. Don't resist. When I say run. Run. Run, Megan! Well, don't just stand there. <clears throat> take me to your leader. Order. Here to stop me? How do you even know I cause anything? Because the past is a clear indication. Time is moving at a rate that threatens the whole of time. Well, I haven't done anything. I'm afraid you've got the wrong person. I disagree. The Doctor and his friends caused the time ruptures. You haven't done it yet, but when I send you back, you never will. You can 
feel it. All of time being altered. You're being rewritten. Megan? I... I remember meeting her. 1973. So that was your plan. Send us all back and separate us through time? To prevent what you cause? Yes. You cannot stop the inevitable, Doctor. Whatever caused these ruptures, it wasn't me. It was the movement. I have my mission. How long can you go without blinking? And how far are you willing to chase me? What? After all these years encountering your kind, you thought I wouldn't take precautions? Oh, you can't run forever, Doctor. The lone assassin will find you! I'm out! Me too, sir. We don't stand a chance. Not with their advantages. You're from the future. What do we do, Tommy? None of this was supposed to happen. Cease fire! Pierce, get down! Speak, ape. I have come to understand that this world of ours is far greater than any of our minds could imagine. But, I ask you, spare my men. The ape makes war a truce. from getting my friends back! And how far are you willing to chase me? TARDIS is limited time drift. There's not enough time drift to follow it. We've got two left. Come on, man, get up. Come on. No. Go, Tommy. Come on. Leave me. I can't. No. Those things. They're coming. And nothing's going to stop them. They will walk over our broken bodies. And they won't stop. Not until they've reclaimed the earth. Pia, I, I can't, man. I can't. You have to. You don't belong here. It's like you said. This was never supposed to happen. There's just... It's just me left. And they won't get past me. I'm 
Now run, Tommy. Run! This world will never be yours. The ape is injured and weak. Injured? Correct. Weak? No. My name is Peter Holmes. And I did my duty. It worked. Nice. Look, it finally showed up. Wait, the TARDIS. I thought you had one time trip left. I still do. I'll explain later. Um, I'm, I'm Harry. You must be the doctor. Oh, come on then. I'm not coming. What? But Harry, this is your way home. I've lived here for six years. I've rebuilt my life. I don't want to miss out on those six years. I'm... I'm staying. You go home though. I'm glad you found a way. We only have one time trip left and we need to use it to get home. Something is happening out there and we need to stop it. What about Tommy though? Megan, if we are somehow able to find Tommy and use the TARDIS to get to him, we'll be stuck in that time zone forever. The Angel sent us back to stop us from interfering. We will find Tommy, I promise, but one thing at a time.
How on earth did you get here? Through that thing. It somehow brought me home. Hmm. The time rupture brought you back here. That seems a bit too much of a coincidence for my liking. Finally, we meet again, Doctor. How long has it been for you since our last encounter? Too long. I see you've got a new hand. This is you, isn't it? All of this. What are you up to, really? Fixing your mess. My mess? You're the one causing the ruptures in time. You're the ones who are altering the past and displacing individuals. What we are doing here is beyond anything you could understand. And you call yourself a Time Lord. Yet, you've never truly understood time to its full capacity. I understand time better than you. What are you? Rogue time travellers? Altering one event in the past to open the next rupture? By the time you know what we're doing, it'll be too late. For you, for everyone, for all of time. What have you done? It has all led to this, Doctor. All this work, shifting all those time events ever so slightly. In the end, you've sealed your fate. The last time event is now accessible. The final movement has begun. I'm going after them. And I won't rest until they've been made to pay for what they've done. they wanted. Of course they did. I used the last time trip to save you. Just like they knew I would. I... I have no way of following them. No way of stopping them. What are they gonna do? They're... gonna alter a time event which will have catastrophic consequences. me, I assure you! What happened to it? What exactly are we looking at? Time. Deteriorating. Fracturing. Guys, you trust me, right? Yeah. Good. Well, we need to get back to the TARDIS. It's the only safe place. This timeline is about to collapse, and I can't stop it! It's all good. You just need to hold on for me, okay? Hold on for me, okay? What's happening to him, Doctor? It's the movement. They, they altered an event and now time is catching up. Undercutting the events. We're rippling back towards the eye of the storm. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. No, Doctor. There's no time. If time is being erased, then it's not just me, is it? It's you. It's everybody. I'm not leaving you. Ever. 
I wouldn't want you to. You can fix this. You can bring me back. Right? Doctor? Of course I can, Tommy. Of course! Megan. We've never said it. We may not get the chance to now, so... I love you. No. Don't you dare say goodbye! Tommy! Megan, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. It's gonna be okay. But we need to go. No. Now, come no. on, please. No. We have to go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bring him back. Bring him back. I promise you, I will. I promise you. But for now, please, Megan, we've got to go. Nick. Please tell me this has got something to do with you. The movement. Listen to me, as this is vital. You need to get to the TARDIS, and fast! Doctor, I've got men here disappearing. I can't just abandon them. Stubborn like your father! Nick, please, you have to listen to me. You've got to go! Because if you don't, you will be lost. And not just lost, you'll never have existed in the first place. So please, you have to. Nick! There is nothing we can do right now. We need to save ourselves in order to even have a chance at restoring our friends. Oh, come on, Megan, pick up. Look, Megan, I don't know if there's anything to do with you or what, but people are disappearing and I just hope you're safe. I do worry about you, sweetheart. I'm worried I'm next. And that I won't come back, so I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you for everything you do. I love you so much, sweetheart. of time. What do we do? We hold on to hope. Listen, we will get everyone back, I promise you. You trust me, right? I trust you. The TARDIS Everything will still be fine. Megan? Megan? Oh, Megan. It looks like we were too late. After all. <laughs>